Hello everyone! So, for this video, we'll be solving a sample problem related to tension members, bolted and riveted connections on principles of steel design. So, this will be our first problem. Okay. So, here's the problem. The 300 millimeters wide, 8 millimeters thick steel plate is attached to another plate by the 325 millimeters diameter a490 bolts whose threads are not excluded from shear planes and allowable shear stress which is 193 megapascal the plate is a36 with f sub u which is 410 megapascal and f sub y is equal to 200 megapascal now we have to determine the safe tensile load p the connection can resist so first step that we need to do is to list all the given. So, katung wala there is a figure, okay, lang na to siya i list down, okay, like this 8 millimeters thick plate, okay, 8 millimeters, um, 419 F of V, 193 megapascal, ito siya i take note, and yes, this 410 megapascal, which is the F sub U, and the F sub Y, which is the 248 megapascal. Okay, need not, need not na sila ipang take note para niya, no? So, for our solution, first step is that we need to determine the D sub H or ang ito ang diameter sa hole. So, how are we going to do this? So, since it is not stated that it uses a hot-driven rivets, di ba wala? Wala ka kabas of hot-driven rivets. We can use now the, what case? Case number 2. Okay, case number 2. We're in, na to siya ka step. So, first is we need to get the standard diameter so it's just 25 plus 2 27 millimeters so on sa itong reference ana ang table 510-6 nara di ba 25 so giada ni mo to para mahimong 27 so yung ana ra siya ha muna yung standard diameter then after that is eh yung kabag adog 1.6 nara t sa b plus 1.6 ana kay 28.6 Okay, step 2. We are going to apply the 5 modes of failure for our tension members and individually get the what we call the safe tensile um, load P. Okay, so for our gross sectional yielding, naman tayo formula na ingani, na 0.6 TFY times A sub G. Now, in this plate, we need to consider this portion here, kaning wala siya bolt connection, it's just the width times the thickness and the width na 300 times the thickness na tayo, gross sectional area nga, 2400 square millimeters, and substituting to this formula na kay 0.60 times 248 times 2400 times 1 times 10 to prof negative 3 na kay 357.12 kilonewtons nag add nag times na ko dan dari og 1 times 10 to power of negative 3 so that atong answer is in kilonewtons na dret so and so that's for our gross sectional yielding now let's go for our tensile rupture stress the tearing or the fracture so aga ni na siya magocore mag magocore na siya dere nga portion kani where in kung asa ato ang bolt okay so nara so, we have this formula, 0.50 F sub B times A sub N. So, need na to first kuha on ang ato ang F sub A sub N kani. So, it's just the um, total width minus kung pila ka buok bolts diri times kani tayo 28.6 times the thickness da yun. Okay? Now, we need to solve for our net area. So, naara siya no? 300 na 300 minus pila ka buok ka bolt na tay tulo so 3 times 28.6 wala mo pa lang ni ang para sa to ang width at times the thickness din na 8 na kay 1713.6 square millimeters and substituting well, 0.50 times 410 times 1713.6 times kani so we have this p value which is 351. Point 288 kN. So that's for our tensile rupture stress. Now, 
let us proceed for our black shear. So for our black shear, we have the different paths. But for this video, we are considering two um, duha lang ka path, no? So for our first path, which is the path one, yung ani ang failure in terms of black shear. Nara. So yung ani yung failure, kanin siya is madetach sa imuhang um, structural member. Okay, so ang analysis dun na na is ato ang ang area sa tension side di bang area na to sa tension tension side is kaniman kani so it's just 160 ano 160 this distance here 80 plus 80 na kay 160 ano 160 man di ba 160 minus 2 nganong 2 because this is 1 0.5 0.5 so, 1 plus 0.5, 1.5 plus 0.5 na kay 2. Okay? Times 28.6. Tag 28.6 man ni. Eh. Times 8 din na thickness. So, na kay 8 to 2.4. Now, let's get the area for our um, shear side. So, to get tong shear na side. So, nara deri na po ta. Kanin na po deri. Kanin na po deri ha. Kanin. So, 50 minus... 0.5. Nga 0.5? It's because katunga naman siya. Katunga sa diameter. So, 0.5 times 28.6 times 8 thickness. Tapos nga times 2? Because kung tanaw ni mo, kanira nga side at ni consider Diba kani? Apilon na na po. Diri. So, nga times 2 din siya. So, that's why ma times 2. So, that's 571.2 square millimeters. And now, our formula for black shear is this 0.50 times F sub U A sub T plus 0.30 F sub U times A sub V and substituting tanan na kayang ani and baka ko kang answer nga 238.85 kN now let's proceed to another path of failure sa shear, black shear so unsay another kang path of failure in ani siya o oh, yung ani ang madetouch kani siya madetouch siya sa structural member ni mo so, ang ato sa ning i-identify pila ning uh, length. Pila man ni 80 plus 80 plus 70 na kay 230. So, ang area sa ning sa to ang tension is kani consider na to. La. Oh, that's 230 minus 2.5. Why 2.5? It's because 1 2 then katunga din ni 0.5. So, that's 2.5 times 28.6 times 8 nga thickness okay that's 1268 square millimeters and for our area sa um, shear side gani diri shear side isa ra man ano so that's 50 minus 0.5 y.5 it's because katunga naman oh 0 0.5 times 28.6 times 8 and we can get 285.62 square millimeters and again, substituting sa itong mean formula for block shear, okay, na kay ng ani. Hindi mo na pag-substitute yun, no? And, uh, so, na kay 1 to 6, 8 area siya sa tension ng side. Tapos sa uh, shear ng side is 285.62 kani. So, we have 295.07 newton, kilonewtons. Okay, let's proceed to our next mode of failure which is the bearing stress between plate and bolts. So, natin nga ni formula, 1.2 F sub U times area sa bolt. Okay, na kayang ani. So, why mo na siya na na? It's because for our bearing stress, di ba? Itong kinakonsider kay kanilang, di ba? Plate and the rivet itself. Lama tayo tulog ka bolt. So, ato siyang illustrate mo na, ana. Na kay ana, ana, tulog ka bolt mo. Okay, ang ginakonsider naman, di ba, for bearing stress is the plate and the bolts. So, tiri, to get the area, it's just the diameter. Kani, let this diameter be our width times the thickness or our height. Na, nara, D times T. Na kay DT, DT times pila ni sila kabuok. Di ba, atong diameter gamiton is ang original nga diameter which is katong 25. So, na kay 25 times the thickness din mo which is 8 times pila mo sila ka bolts tanan tulo so that's why makakuha din ka og 600 square millimeters so ato i highlight sa niya na kaniya na bolt don na to so natay tulo ka bolts for a bearing stress 
and again substituting nakaing ani 1.2 f sub u a b 1.2 times 410 times 600 we can get 295.2 so mauna na siya tong one for bearing stress now for a shearing stress in bolts concerned ra ang sharing bolt a sharing stress sa ato ang ma bolts mga bolts diri di ba concern na siya sa bolts so therefore atong gamiton nga area na is kadtong pi over 4 d squared okay pi over 4 d squared that's for the area sa bolts lang jud atong gina consider basta shear stress ha so nakay nga nga formula f of b or or nga to ang shear stress na ara man na siya 193 times kanida yun na formula so for our a sub b pi over 4 25 squared times 3 since na may tulok ka volts so we can get 1472.62 square millimeters now substituting nakay nga ni 193 times 1472.62 times this one and we can get 284.22 so, feeling na ko nakuha na natin na, no? Itong um, P values. So, therefore, we are now ready to summarize the results. So, naara siya, no? For our gross sectional yielding, nantay 357.12 and so on. And, the atong piliyon always is katong lesser or katong mas gamay ang value. So, ah, man din pinakagamay. Hmm... This is Nara for block shear path 1 Okay, sakto kaya? Yes, siya ang pinakagamay Therefore, mauni siya ang ato ang safe tensile load P So therefore, the safe tensile load connection that um, the connection can resist is 238.85 kN So therefore, mauna na itong answer for our first problem 238.85 so that's it thank you for listening i hope that nakasabot po sa tong first video see you sa toang second na problem